A retired air marshal has said that the Indian Air Force operates seven different types of fighter jets which leads to multiple logistical issues, and it doesn't want to add another kind of fighter jet in its arsenal. Given that the Indian Air Force operates 36 Rafale aircraft, it might try to persuade the government to purchase 56 more Rafale aircraft. The Air Force will undoubtedly be more comfortable if more Rafales are procured, because India already has the infrastructure and training facility, and any further Rafales will take less time to get operational. Military experts have said, that by downsizing the MRFA contract to 57 units, the path looks clear to procure French Rafale aircraft, and this reduction will also give major boost to the development of the Tejas Mark II and AMCA, as the void will now be filled by indigenous fighter jets. The chairman of Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has said that the government should take some bold steps on submarine manufacturing in the country, and this assumes significance as it comes in the backdrop of a deadlock over the 43,000 crore rupees project 75i. The chairman also said that Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders is completing last of the six Scorpion class submarines for the Indian Navy in collaboration with the French company Naval Group, and the French firm has a style of functioning that they would not share the technology with Mazagin Dock. He also added that Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders have been insisting the Indian Navy to decide on firing parameters of the last two P 75 Scorpion submarines with participation of the Navy and DRDO and dispose of the French technology partner. The DRDO's gas turbine research establishment has been requesting the Defence Ministry to convert an IL-76 aircraft into a flying test bed for engine trials, along with one used MiG-29 for final certification trials of the engine. The high-altitude trials of the 46 kN cavalry dry engine on a Russian IL-76 flying test bed in Moscow has been delayed by several months, which will indirectly delay its experimental flights on the technological demonstrator of DRDO's Aura Stealth Unmanned Strike Aircraft program. Safran and DRDO will sign an agreement to jointly develop a 110 kN engine this month and the DRDO has already announced that it will develop a number of upscaled and downscaled variants of the jet engine for other spin-off programs, and this Indian flying test bed will play a very big role in engine development as well as future product improvements. The Ministry of Defence has released a request for information to procure two 50,000-ton class ships with necessary onboard infrastructure, to simulate variable radar cross-section to undertake air and anti-ship firing of weapons from fighter jets of Indian Air Force and Indian Navy. The Ministry is also intended to procure necessary target services, for positioning of target ships at designated location in sea, as well as repair of damaged targets. The Indian Army has started testing the Kalyani-developed Bharat 150 multi-payload variable mission drone in high-altitude areas in Ladakh sector. The Bharat 150 has an average speed of 50 km per hour and maximum takeoff weight of 150 kg, with minimum 30 minutes of endurance, with a communication link encryption for 200 km. It is integrated with radio communication system and inertial navigation system with anti-jamming and anti-spoofing capabilities, that makes it suitable for application in signal intelligence and communication intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance mission and loitering munition. <laughs>